loving can hurt Loving can hurt sometimes But it's the only thing that I know When it gets hard You know it can get hard sometimes It is the only thing that makes us feel alive We keep this love in a photograph We make these memories for ourselves Where our eyes are never closing Hearts are never broken Time's forever frozen still So you can keep me Inside the pocket of your ripped jeans Holding me closer till our eyes meet You won't ever be alone Wait for me to come home Loving can heal Loving can mend your soul And it's the only thing that I know I swear it will get easier Remember that with every apicia It is the only thing we take with us when we die We keep this love in a photograph We make these memories for ourselves Where our eyes are never closing Hearts are never broken Time's forever frozen still So you can keep me Inside the pocket of your ripped jeans Holding me closer till our eyes meet You won't ever be alone And if you hurt me That's okay, baby, only words bleed Inside these pages you just hold me I won't ever let you go Wait for me to come home 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 Oh, you can't fit me inside the necklace you got when you were 16 Next to your heartbeat where I should be Keep it deep within your soul And if you hurt me Well that's okay baby, only words please Inside these pages you just hold me I won't ever let you go When I'm away I will remember how you kissed me Under the lamppost back on 6th Street Hearing you whisper through the phone Wait for me to come home Good morning. It is my great pleasure to introduce today's speaker. Her name is Stephanie Fee. Steph and I worked together this past fall coaching the varsity field hockey team. And although I was well aware of Steph's field hockey accomplishments, which are many, I really only knew her through our mutual field hockey acquaintances. So it was uncanny how similar immediately our coaching philosophies aligned. Along with our obsession on technique and practice plans, strategies, we were constantly sharing our thoughts on the important intangibles associated with being an athlete. Work ethic, selflessness, competitiveness, and what does grit mean? I found this both inspiring and energizing. So as often as we talked about our corner options and game plans on a daily basis, we also talked a lot about how the athletic experiences really are transformational building blocks for life. In the end, not only was our season hugely successful in terms of wins and losses, it was super rewarding beyond these measures. Stephanie is a graduate of Duke University. She retired from the USA national team in 2018 with 111 international caps. 
She is a 2016 Rio Olympian, two-time World Cup participant, and a Pan Am gold medalist. She's very excited to share her story today about how hope played an integral part in reaching her dreams and how these experiences transformed her. I'm excited to hear all about it. Please stand and welcome Stephanie Fee. Please be seated. July 10th, 1999, the iconic Rose Bowl Stadium in sunny Pasadena, California. The U.S. women's national team is taking on China to, to determine the best soccer team in the world. 3,000 miles away, glued to a television in small town Virginia Beach, Virginia, nine-year-old me captures her first big dream for her life, to represent the United States of America on the Olympic stage. The game and scene are still just as vivid 20 years later. I could literally feel the buzz and excitement bursting through the television. The game was a grueling back and forth battle of midfield possession, attacking shots, defensive saves, close calls, and very, very scrappy play. Eventually the game ended in a tie and proceeded to two full overtime periods. That again ended in a scoreless draw. As if my little nine-year-old emotions could handle anymore, this meant of course that the game would be determined by shootouts. China went first, and for everyone that they scored, USA answered to keep the score even. Until finally, on China's last shootout, USA goalkeeper Brianna Scurry dove out with full extension to save the shot. This, of course, placed USA in a winning position for the World Cup. I remember it like it was yesterday. Brandy Chastain walks up to the line and sunk this ball right past the China goalkeeper for the win. The stadium went absolutely ballistic with players cheering and celebrating and crying with pride and excitement. After a portion of time, I remember just, and, and it, it, it was so amazing just watching them represent the United States of America in the sport that they loved. And then once I finally unstuck my eyes from the television, I remember I turned to my parents behind me. I had no words, and they could just tell my mind was reeling. They simply looked back at me with a knowing smile and said, One day, Stephanie, one day. And that was the moment my hope began. When we tap into the power of hope, two incredible things happen. First, hope allows us to create a vision for greatness in our lives. What is your vision of greatness? And secondly, hope fuels us to co overcome the inevitable speed bumps that may try to hinder us or slow us down from reaching our desired destination. My hope created a vision that was painted in red, white, and blue to represent that USA Olympic team. At that point in my life, it was unaffected by norms, boundaries, or limits. This unadulterated vision of my life gave my thoughts a destination to daydream, my prayers a target to speak towards, and my actions a direction to walk in. My, my room was lined with all of the posters of my soccer heroes, Mia Hamm, Brandi Chastain, Brianna Scurry, all smiling and wearing their U.S. Olympic jerseys, World Cup jerseys. My parents thankfully put up my own soccer net in the backyard where I reenacted that final penalty kick over and over, and I imagined celebrating with my imaginary teammates and holding up that imaginary trophy. Looking back, I'm sure my neighbors were a little skeptical, but my hope was indeed alive. As I grew older, I found that life tends to throw quite a few speed bumps in our direction to test the power of our hope and the authenticity of our vision. These speed bumps often portray themselves in two particular ways, as seemingly unbeatable odds or as disappointing circumstances. Some bumps look way more aggressive to overcome than others, but all have the same and ultimate intention to derail us from reaching our greatest potential. We can either let these obstacles sideline us or allow our hope to spur us on towards incredible things. It is an unfortunate truth that self-doubt is an inevitable part about being a human. And the higher we set our hopes, and the greater we set our vision, the heavier the temptation is to let self-doubt creep in. One of the easiest ways for doubt to overtake us is when we let the odds or the facts trick us into thinking the words, I am not enough. What if on that same day, when my heart was racing after the USA win, I turned back to my parents behind me, and they said, well, you know, Steph, the odds of you making it to the Olympic Games are 0.000014%. So good luck, kid. Well, for fortunately, those were not the words that they chose. 
but those odds did become my reality. Hope does not make you ignorant to the odds. Rather, it fuels your mind, body, and spirit to rise to the challenge. I refuse to let those odds define me or alter my vision. Instead, I was committed to pushing outside of my comfort zones on and off the field, sharpening every area of my field hockey game, physical ability, and mental fortitude to look those odds straight in the face and say, what now? Hope is our stronghold against doubt. Write that down. Hope says you can do this, and you are more than enough. The speed bump of disappointment can show itself throughout many different forms and throughout many different circumstances. I remember one night in my eighth grade year, I was, praying I, would, I was praying I would do well on my Olympic development trout the next day. This league places you on track and in the system to make the eventual USA soccer, soccer team, so clearly a very important step to my dream. I was always on the top of my soccer teams on that point, so everyone thought I was a bit of a shoe into making the squad. I remember I performed really, really well at the tryout. But what do you know? Results came out, and my name was not on the list. My life, I thought, was ruined. That was it. It is nearly impossible to break into the older age groups of the Olympic development squad, so I missed the most pivotal step of me reaching my soccer dreams. However, my red, white, and blue vision and my Team USA hope remained alive. I soon overcame the grief. I reevaluated my steps, and I pivoted. I began and fell in love with the sport of field hockey just one year earlier. So while I still played some soccer, my USA vision was slightly altered with an added field hockey stick, a smaller ball with no air in it, a mouth guard, and oh yeah, rules that involve no feet. My hope allowed me to overcome the disappointing speed bump, stay the course, and remain bold in my pursuit towards the Olympic dream. Seventeen years after that historic day for U.S. soccer and for a little nine-year-old girl, wearing my red, white, and blue Olympic uniform and standing arm in arm with my teammates as we sang the national anthem together was the most incredible experience of my life so far. My success in achieving my Olympic goal was, has fueled new dreams and new goals and even more hope for what's next for me. Let hope be that knowing smile that looks back at you today and, and empowers you to believe that you too can achieve your vision of greatness. Always remember to cherish the journey. Always choose hope and never, under any circumstances, give up on your dreams. In silence, let us reflect on the things that we have heard. <laughs>